Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video we're taking a look at the KO version of X-Force Coloured Deadpool. Uh, of course I got this in a two set from Sir Toys, both Greypool and Redpool. Uh, this is the official version that my friend Chuck sent me. Uh, so first of all, the obvious difference is the colour. We have a kind of a much kind of murkier grey on the KO as well as a very kind of sweaty sheen. Uh, seems to be a regular trait with these KOs. They do have a very glossy paint scheme. Uh, the masks are slightly different. Again, the black on the official is a much richer color, uh, as is the X logo on the belt. It kind of pops, whereas this one actually does remind me more of the X-Man logo as opposed to X-Force and coming down to the feet as you can see he does have small lines across and whereas this Deadpool has them sculpted on. We have the black on the toes where you both have foot pegs on the base. Coming around to the back I, I don't even know what's going on with <laughs> his backpack it's a little bit all over the place. They've got a factory number on the side there as well. The biggest perk, I think, of getting the KO Deadpool sets is the sheer volume of accessories that he comes with. As you can see, he's got the blue gun. Uh, he's got a gray version of this gun. He's got the two swords, as you would expect. Uh, we also get the kind of charcoal Wade Wilson head. Yes, his cosplay version, Freddy Krueger. Uh, I got a dinosaur in my two-pack. I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, we get a bazooka. Uh, we also get a burst for the bazooka as well. That can just slide in. And it says boom with some Deadpool logos on there. Uh, I get one of these. Uh, I got a Tommy gun. I'm not sure if that's meant to go with him or when meant to go one of the other Deadpools. Uh, we get a knife, which is meant to store on his belt somewhere. Uh, the list goes on. There's some really nice accessories there. That's about the biggest difference between the two. Uh, the paint is definitely a step up on the official product. I mean, we've got some sculpting differences on the abdominum abdominal muscles there. Uh, they're actually sculpted really nicely. These are just a very flat plastic. It's the definition definitely pops more on the official product. Looking at the eyes uh, especially, this one actually looks like a cloth over the head. You've got the nice sculpting of the ears there. Uh, this one not so much. But either way, I mean they're both very good versions of the character. Uh, this has got the really nice kind of worn look to his holster. Uh, this is just a very matte black. The swords themselves are pretty much identical. It's not something new. We've seen these before. Now I've heard that some of the KOs uh, have problems with the articulation. So let's just take a look uh, this one, we've got a nice range looking up, nice range looking down, left and right is no problem whatsoever. Shoulders can come out, they can rotate, they can rotate on a nice ratchet joint in the shoulder. We get not one, but two bends on the elbow. Now this does feel slightly rubbery in comparison, but doesn't look like anything's gonna break. The pegs are all in there firmly. We get rotation and a pivot up and down on the wrist, the waist, is on a friction joint, got ratchet forward and back. Legs can come this far forwards, that far out to the back, out to the side, upper thigh rotation. Uh, the line doesn't really line up as well as it should. One, two bends on that knee, again, slightly rubbery feel to the joints. Calf rotation, foot forwards and backwards, and we've got that ankle rocker as well. So there you have it, it's a good figure. It's not without its flaws. Like I said, the rubbery joints are not a concern as such, but they're definitely not as sturdy as the official product. But at the same time, 
my official product does have some paint smearing. We have a little bit of kind of red and paint bleeding on the calves. And that's something we don't have on the KO. Uh, he's certainly easy to balance. His feet joints seem stiffer. It's definitely potato batata. If you have the original, would I recommend you going out and getting the KO just for the accessories? Uh, no, probably not. But if you don't have Deadpool, which are becoming harder to get now as the part of that Sasquatch wave, uh, then I would highly recommend you go out and get this Deadpool just for the accessories alone. And that Deadpool head sculpt, it is a phenomenal knockoff. And here we have him riding on KO, Red Hulk's KO Vespa. <laughs> Love how these guys look. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the KO X-Force Deadpool. Not exactly the same as the official one, but if you're looking for a really good Deadpool to stick on display, then I highly recommend this set. Uh, I got this and the red Deadpool. I think it was like 30 something dollars for the pair of them, but with the amount of weapons that they come with, it's highly recommended. And you need to get yourself some of these KO Tony Starks as well, so you can stick random heads on these suited up bodies. Until next time, for myself and Deadpool, ah, goodbye.